I was going to ask like, what have you noticed? Like, what does an ML engineer need these days? And is it like company specific? Is it, you know, okay, well, if this company is working with Spark, then they want Spark. Or is there certain things that ML engineers kind of need to have generalizations? Yeah, so it's kind of how you how you explain what tool you're using as opposed to the actual tool. I mean, there's one thing if someone just writes um, someone just writes Python programming, that's that's one thing. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if they're actually hiring in Java and you just write well Python programming, it doesn't matter. You know, you're probably not going to get the interview anyway. Uh-huh. If you write an example of what you're doing and how you're building Python packets, how you're building data pipelines using Python, um, and the value or the depth of experience that you actually have with Python, they'll probably still consider you um, uh-huh. as well. Because, but if you have, um, you know, uh, like I said, I've got some, I've got one example. It's like basically people that have like two or three bullet points on their CVs per job. I've been in this uh-huh. job two years. Yeah, like it, it doesn't say a lot, you know. You gotta they want to understand the depth of what it is. You know, are you integrating? Are you integrating different, different data pipelines? Are you just have you just been working on one? Have you been working in an admin function? Uh-huh. You gotta have a CV that doesn't say that basically says and proves that you have been doing a lot more than this. Okay, Other than okay. that, they're just gonna flick to the next CV, and if the next CV doesn't have it, they'll flick to the next one. Yeah, and they'll just keep flicking through them until they see the CVs that say, "Oh, I'm a competent uh, Python programmer. Um, I've built the following data pipelines that are producing this much value for the business. That are, you know, whatever it will be. Whatever oh, that's it will awesome. Be. Yeah, so, that's so great. That's, and then, that, that's what you need to be. That's what you need to be right. That's that's perfect. And I want to dive into that more when we get actually everybody on here 